There is always mystery surrounding us, and it is human nature to be fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, making us work harder to understand the world we live in and the universe that our world is a part of. Every day it is possible to find something new and exciting, big or small, in our own backyard, or in the depths of galaxies so far away we have never seen them before. Some take us to different solar systems and tell us about the cosmos. Some tell us about our human history and our planet's history alike. There are always more clues about where we came from, whether that be how, when, or from where. All of them leave us eager to learn more. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring some groundbreaking discoveries which, while far away, are just as crucial in our understanding of the world around us as we head into the unexplored realms of the cosmos. NASA's Lucy mission will observe the earliest fossils of the solar system. It is an exciting time for science, especially when exploring space. It is sometimes easy to forget that we are in fact part of a universe so much larger than we could ever imagine, and with that depth comes endless things to discover. NASA's Lucy mission has passed all pre-launch tests and is set to leave Cape Canaveral Space Force Station on October 16th. This means it will not be long until we have the ability to observe the earliest known fossils of the solar system. We now have the chance to learn about the solar system we are a part of. The so-called fossils that Lucy will observe are called Trojan asteroids, and they orbit the Sun in two groups, with similar paths to Jupiter. With roughly 7,000 of these asteroids and the largest spanning a gigantic 250 kilometers in diameter, the Trojan asteroids are in fact pieces of our neighboring planets from when they were first formed. Lucy is the first spacecraft of any kind that has been designed specifically to monitor these asteroids, and it is thought that the data she will gather could help astronomers piece together how our solar system was formed 4.5 billion years ago. Over her planned 12-year mission, researchers also hope that Lucy will be able to provide us with insight into how our planets ended up where they are in space today. She will have to fly across the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter before getting close enough to the Trojan asteroids to observe them. Over the course of her mission, Lucy will also return to Earth a total of three times for gravitational aids that will help her maintain her planned path. As well as the historic value scientists will gain from her journey, this will also make Lucy the first spacecraft to ever travel to Jupiter and return to Earth. Not only is it an amazing feat for research, but the mission also goes to show the amazing and constant technological progress being made in space exploration. Mars's surface was carved by fast floods from overflowing craters 3.5 billion years ago. Mars is always topical and convenient being our next-door neighbor in the solar system, and yet we are so far from understanding the red planet's history. A new study has suggested that Mars's surface was in fact shaped by catastrophically furious floods from overflowing craters a jaw-dropping 3.5 billion years ago. These floods were so powerful that they carved out deep chasms and led to significant movements of sediment across the planet's surface, making such lake breach floods a more important process than we may have originally imagined. It is thought that floods of this kind would have lasted weeks and could have eroded and deposited so much sediment that the largest lakes on Earth, such as Lake Ontario and Lake Superior, would have been completely filled had we experienced such fast and vigorous flooding here. The result, as seen today, was a buildup of high, jagged walls of rock very similar to Earth's own canyons. The discovery is surprising to many experts, because up until now it has been widely thought that these events were anomalous in nature, occurring as one-off events. We knew that crater lakes were common on Mars billions of years ago when the planet had liquid water on its surface, but the rapidity and impact of these floods caused by overflowing craters were not fully understood until now. As we now begin to seriously study these past phenomena through the use of satellite imaging, scientists are studying the surface of Mars to understand the extent to which these floods managed to carve river alleys. 
So far, the crater lakes have been examined only on an individual basis, comparing depth, length and volume of the river alleys their breaches created. With a staggering 262 breached lakes across the whole of Mars, there is so much to investigate and learn from. Hopefully, these endeavors will lead to explanations of how these floods fundamentally shaped the planet's surface as we know it today. Meteorite-eating microbes could help us find alien life. And lastly, a bit closer to home depending on what you believe, an organism that feeds on space rocks could shed light on how life forms came to be on Earth, as well as if there are living creatures surviving alongside us on other planets too. Known specifically as Metallocephera sedula, these bacteria-like microbes get their energy from inorganic substances such as meteors. This means that scientists can examine traces of these microbes in space debris and learn more about the meteors on which they fed. Their feeding and living habits can help us theorize how extraterrestrial living forms may be surviving. With other planets already exhibiting a complete lack of greenery, oxygen and water that we find on Earth, it can already be deduced that any alien species would most likely be simple microbes that could survive harsh and barren living conditions. What we do not know yet is how exactly they may have adapted to overcome these challenges. Do they burrow beneath layers of soil to avoid UV ray damage? Do they lie dormant in asteroids, hibernating while waiting for a more habitable environment? Therefore, the discovery of these meteorite-eating microbes is game-changing in understanding how similar microbes could be living undetected by us. Not only could this finding help us determine their means of shelter and survival, but we now know that extraterrestrial materials, such as meteorites, are in fact a food source for some organisms. And, as meteorites have been around since the beginning of time, with heavier meteor presence in space billions of years ago compared to now, there is now reason to believe that what might seem like just rocks to us could have played a more pivotal role in that past evolution of life on Earth than we may have once thought. Beyond just our planet, it obviously forces us to question not only how, but potentially where life emerged in our solar system. Previous theories only really mention the roles played by meteors, asteroids and comets as being important in distributing the building blocks for our planets billions of years ago. With this new evidence, they would need revisions to acknowledge that actually they also provided nutrients to hardy little microbes who can now tell us so much more about our own journey to Earth and where else we should be looking for life. So while we are not saying to be on the lookout for UFOs just yet, it is an exciting new discovery which goes to show that nothing is impossible. Aliens could well exist in all realness, just maybe not as the little green men. Discoveries like these really do show that you can learn something new every day. There is so much more to learn and discover about our own existence, and infinitely more to learn about the darkest corners of the universe. But what do you make of these extraterrestrial discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.